Hi guys, we're looking at a DOM IX. This is a beautiful uh, dimple lock sent to me by Roblox. We can see the key that goes with it, uh, with the IX logo at the bottom. We can see the bitting. Uh, it's relatively okay bitting, except for pin number four, which is uh, uh, very, very deep down. So we've got to, we have to use a curved flag to get in on that. Um, we're going to try and get it open to start with. It's always the best way to go about things, isn't it? <laughs> so I'm going to go in with a modified flat flag. Um, I'm going to actually go in this side to start with. This lock has extremely strange pins. They're kind of pointed. Um, like a fin shape, like a, you can imagine a shark swimming around in the water. Or well, the fin that sticks out of the water is the kind of the shape of these pins. They're very, very difficult to get on top of, get a grip on, and therefore manipulate. Um, and I find the best thing to do is to kind of use heavy tension and try and jam the pins down a bit to start with so they're lower down in the lock and then you can kind of manipulate them a bit easier when they're standing to, to attention they're pretty hard to to manipulate a little click off one of them there, I think that was probably number three Okay, so I think I've squashed the pins down. There we go, do you see that? Nice little click and the movement on the core. I think I've squashed the pins down far enough into the lock to be able to manipulate them correctly. So what I'd like to do now is go in with a curved flag and just try and get down onto each of the pins to see if we can get a nudge and set anything that isn't already set. For the moment, nothing. Maybe I've gone too hard and I've overset something. There's only a five pin dimple. I'm not used to five pin dimples. I keep going right back into the keyboard trying to find the sixth pin. I'll we'll click on something there. Huh? So I know for a fact that pin number four is very deep. So maybe with my curved flag we can get down. Oh, I'm just finding the keys now, finding the pins now. So. Number five, number three. I think something's overset. Let's see if we can let something up without letting everything up. Oh, I think I let too much up. Let's go back in and see. We're only at four minutes. Yeah, there we go. I think I let number three up. That's a bit of a bugger to get back into position. Yeah, number four now. The 
these very special shaped key pins. It's very difficult to manipulate them. Let's go back in with the curved flag. I think I got a kick on number four, which is what I was looking for. Number two, maybe. I think I've got to click on number two. <coughs> Let's see if we can get in deep and hopefully finish this off. That's number three. So this is, should be number four. If I can find it, if I can sit on top of it and give it the nudge it's missing. Maybe I'll overset something again. I don't know, it's a very strange feeling. Everything feels okay, but the lock's not opening. There's nothing blocking it from opening, of course. There we go, lovely, yes. That was a little touch that it needed. So that was our DOM IX5. Now, um, the problem is, is that I would really like to gut this, um, but as the lock was sent to me by Roblox, and as it is a complete lock, I'm waiting for his permission to gut this before I actually do it. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to stop the video. Okay, I'm going to wait for him to reply to say that I'm allowed to gut it. Now, you see, the problem is that uh, I'm really, really bad at repinning a complete lock. Uh, I'll make a complete mess of it. I always have done in the past. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask his permission to cut it in half. And then when I cut it in half, notice that I've picked this half here, right? It's got this uh, brown line on it where it was obviously sticking out of a door. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave it just like that for the moment. Uh, I'm going to get his permission to cut it in half. And then as soon as he gives me that permission, I'm going to come back with the lock cut in half and gut it from that place. Okay. So um, either I'll see you soon for a gutting video or you'll just see this online with no gutting and he's told me I'm not allowed to cut it in half. <laughs> So thanks very much. Um, see you hopefully in a couple of minutes. Guys, we're back. Got in touch with my man Robin who said, of course, I can open it up. I knew he was going to say that, but, you know, it was such a nice lock. I didn't want to cut it in half without his permission. Um, anybody uh, familiar with the old uh, lock noob can see that I've got a little tribute to lock, lock noob in the back. Um, he sent me those a little while ago and I said I would love to eat them and then I forgot all about them and now they're out of date. So they're just going to sit there as decoration for a while. <laughs> okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to get this little baby open. Let's try and do this as quick as possible because the video was already quite long, wasn't it? Um, these are my wonderful uh, tweezers that I got, sorry, pliers that I got in the kit from uh, Talons during the week. Fantastic, that works so well. Thank you very much, Mr. T. I'm going to shim it because we all know what happens when you forget to put the shim in, right? Oh, it doesn't want to be shimmed. Oh, it really doesn't want to be shimmed. Well, 
hopefully it'll be okay. Wish me luck. Okay, so we've got a pin on the side there. I think that's just a key control. Everything else looks fine. I've just lost the key control pin. I shall put that back. Um, let's check this out. Yeah, you can see they're a bit old and they're a bit sticky. But they're all in there and they needed to come out. That was a little wafer that just popped out, wasn't it? Yeah, this is part of a master key system. Um, so that little wafer was in pin number three. Let's make sure we get that in the right place. Um, so that's in the key pin, isn't it? So I'm going to put it there. Okay. I know this is part of a, way, uh, a master key system because uh, Rob explained it to me last time. So let's get them out. Great. Let's go for the drivers. Okay, so this is our DOM IX5, I believe it is, um, part of a master key system. Um, we had a few wafers popping out. My pinning mats are getting a bit dirty. But we can see what we came for. So um, the driver pins are fairly regular, really. didn't have the sexy wafer driver that you often find in DOM locks. So we'll look and see what we got that way. Eh? So, um, pin number five is a baron and it also had a wafer on it. We've got like a barbell train wheel spool in pin number four. Another barrel in pin number three. That's the one that needed nudging frequently. I was thinking maybe it was going to be one of the, the wafer drivers, but it wasn't. We got another barrel in pin number two. And another train wheel barbell spool in pin number one. But the real thing that we're here to look at, I suppose, is this. Let's check this out. Now this is one of those key pins. I mean, look. Look at it. It's the shark fin sticking up in the air. That's the bit that's up when you're picking. So it's really, really difficult to get the pick on top of that. Yeah? Really, really difficult. They're all the same. They've all got it. Um, really tricky. You see what I mean? You, you have to try and get a grip on the side between the, the, the round bit of the pin and the sharp, thin part of the pin. Um, let's get the core back. I'll show you what I mean here. Oh. Oh. But we didn't get number five out there. It was stuck in there all the time. So let's have a look at this pit. pit. Key pin number five is actually serrated as well to boot. 
Now, the key pins will only go in in one particular orientation. You can't just put it in willy nilly. They've got a there we go, a little knobbing on the end here that will only go in one particular orientation. Uh, it's very very strange. So say, let's try it again. You can't just drop it in willy nilly. Yeah, you've got to line it up. Very strange, but very nice. So, uh, thank you very much Roblox uh, for sending me this Dom IX to have a play with. Really enjoyed it. I learned a lot picking this. It's been a long adventure actually. I've had it for a while now. Um, thanks a lot. See you guys.